the biggest problem in the world today is not global warming. It's nuclear warming. And we have idiots that are negotiating for us. We have a guy that doesn't make it past 4 o'clock. And it's not because of age. You know, they ought to talk. I know so many guys in their late 80s, and they're better than new. I said to one guy the other day, I think you're smarter than you were 25 years ago. I've known him a long time. He's 89 years old. He's sharp. As, I mean, he's great. Biden gives people a bad name because that's not an old, that's not an age. I think they say it because I'm three or four years younger. You know, I think that's why they say it. They say his age, it's not his age. He's, He's had got a problem. Two major brain operations. surgeries. Yeah. He, yeah. Did. he did. He did. Those aneurysms. are not good operations. And do you see what he did today? <laughs> he went running towards the camera and made some apology to Native, Native Americans. And uh, that he said that's why he's headed out west. Like he's off the reservation, so to speak, for uh, lack of a better term. You know, I mean, it's interesting because during the debate, I was uh, looking over. I'm saying, hmm, this is strange. <laughs> it's just sort of like strange things were happening. Yeah. But uh, well, he couldn't just, keep it together. But do you think they knew he couldn't keep it together? I think so. Do you so. think that they wanted that? Is that why, like, historically that debate was earlier than they've been in the past, right? I think they wanted to get, well, there's a lot of theories. A lot of people said, do the debate now and we'll get him out. Right. I think that maybe could be. Well, that is what happened. But that's so what it, happened. it's logical. I think they to also said, do the wanted. debate now and get it over with. Right. Uh, I don't think anybody thought he was going to get out, really. That I don't didn't think make that. any sense. The debate, the debate got him out, but, but I think it's very unfair. Look, you have a bad debate, his numbers went down, but I think she's not doing very well right now, and I think she looks. Well, I want to get to that, too, because it's hard to know. Like, the whole poll thing is very bizarre for most people because most people don't answer polls. So they read the polls. Then like, you ever called poll? from I've never a poll? Been I was if never I did, called. I'd hang up. I was never called by a poll. If I did, I wouldn't answer. I'm busy. You know I, how polls are done? I, I, oh, I'm going to get myself please. in trouble. But So I really don't believe too much in them. So, well, 2016 taught a lot of people about the ineffective Well, they were very ineffective because yeah. I thought I was doing well. I'd go to a place and I'd have... 30,000, 40,000 people. Hillary would go, they have 500 people, and they tell me I'm going to lose. I said, why am I going to lose? I had 40,000 people. She had 200 people. But, you know, I have a theory. These pollsters, they charge you a lot of money, too. You know, they charge you half a million bucks to do some stupid poll, and they interview like 251 people. I don't think they interview them in many cases. I don't want to get myself in too much trouble. You think it's bullshit? No, I think they sit there. They make a deal. They get a half a million bucks, and they say... <laughs> Trump's leading 51 to 49. They announce it, and everybody says, oh, oh. do you understand? I, yeah. really don't, I, I so don't, I don't just... think they – I think in a lot – look, I'm a very common sense person. I think that they probably don't always poll. Some of them probably never poll. Uh, what's the difference between 49 to 51 and 47 and a half? Well, it's also a tiny percentage of the population. I don't think it's representative of the overall population. I just don't think I don't it know is. of one person in my whole life that ever got called by a pollster. Exactly. That's my point. So here's here's my question. But I shouldn't say that because I'm doing very you know really well in the polls. But now. I think that's So this week I happen to believe I, in a verse. I only believe them if they're good. No. I like them this month. But no, I, I honestly believe that there's probably a lot of fraud. I had a poll, Washington Post, ABC, in the Hillary thing on Wisconsin. They had me down 17 points the day before the election. I knew it was wrong because I had a rally. I had 29,000 people at a racetrack, and it was like zero degrees, Wisconsin. And they had me down 17 points. In other words, you had no chance. And I won. And I called up my pollsters, good guy, good good guy and i i believe he's legitimate and you know some of them are some of them are i said tell me why did they have me down so much i mean nobody's going to believe them the next time they said they don't care when you're down 17 points people are going to stay home they're not going to vote right because they're going to say i love trump but i'm not going to waste my time it's cold out i said but why do they make it four or five he said at four or five they're going to go and vote at 17, they're not going to go and vote. So but think of it. I was seven. This is the Washington Post ABC poll. I was down 17 points in Wisconsin, and I won. It's crooked stuff. 